I'm wondering, uh, this morning at practice, did you tell Pasta that, you know, when he does come back, he, he doesn't have a spot on that number one power play unit anymore because of the way you guys have been kind of clicking right now? Yeah, exactly. I've seen he's uh, getting a lot closer on the ice, and he uh, won't be long before he's back. So uh, maybe he'll have to earn that spot, but uh, probably not, I guess, with, uh, with, with as many goals as he scored in this league. Nick, watching you play early in the season, seems like you got a little extra jump in your step. You seem quick to pucks and puck retrieval. Is there any uh, difference in the training in the offseason for yourself? You know what? Uh, I did a lot of the same things. Uh, I trained up in, uh, up in Shelburne with my trainer, Aaron Downey. Uh, I've been going to him for a few years now. And, uh, you know, we worked on a lot of speed stuff and, and just regular stuff that everyone else has been doing. I think I'm just uh, feeling confident out there and... Um, just just playing the game and not thinking too much probably confident and, and maybe comfortable because you look at the numbers you only played seven games in the regular season at the trade deadline uh before the world kind of went haywire and, and now you've kind of had a, had a couple of months to settle in do, do you feel like you've settled in with this team and is that why maybe the success is coming right now yeah i think so that that obviously helps um obviously when i got traded um th there was a there was a pause almost you know a week and a half two weeks and i think it was and then um, we, we went to the bubble after that, so I never really got my footing. And, uh, it's tough going to a new team, first time ever being traded. So uh, it wasn't easy moving from you know out west to, to the east. And uh, I think now I'm kind of you know in a bit of a groove and, and feeling good with with my teammates and building chemistry. And uh, it's been going good so far. Nick, everyone talks about Boston and the style of play, and you got to play the certain way. Bruce Cassidy, the coach, what is the mantra in that Boston Bruins dressing room that they preach every day? Yeah, I think if you if you've watched the Boston Bruins, you know the last ten years or so, or, or even longer than that, it's been um, a team that works hard, that, that that plays hard, goes to the net and uh, finishes plays, and and I think above all that, it's been you know team defense and uh, and goaltending and just the little things, you know, winning puck battles, and that's kind of what Boston Bruins do, and we've showed that this year, and. Uh, I think it's only going to get better with us, and, and hopefully we can have a big run this year. And take us inside that dressing room. We uh, saw longtime captain uh, Zdeno Chara leaving this offseason. He goes to Washington, and it was the uh, best unkept secret in all of hockey that Patrice Bergeron was going to wear the captaincy. Uh, what is he like as a captain? Because you've played for some good ones. Ryan Getzlav out in Anaheim, and now Patrice Bergeron in Boston. No, exactly. He's, uh, he's picked up right where... Uh, Right where Big Z left off. Big Z was awesome for the time I was in uh, in, in Boston there for, for a short time. But um, Bergeron's amazing. He's uh, you know him and Z were both both the leaders when even when he didn't wear the C and now he gets a chance to wear it and uh, just just his work ethic and, and the way he treats people around the rink and, and obviously his, his on ice performances uh, sets him above a lot of guys and um, it's amazing to you know have him lead and, and play under him uh, this year. Nick, I know it's been COVID and it's been tough, but what's the favorite parts of Boston and the city and transitioning to that new city, Boston? What do you love about it? Yeah, obviously it has been tough with the COVID. It's, I've pretty much been uh, in the COVID the whole time I've, I've been in Boston, but uh, I think it's the fans that I got a taste of that and uh, just, just the winning culture around Boston. And uh, it's, you know, one of the you know great sports cities in the world. And, uh, you know, original six team that uh, something that I haven't um, had, had a chance to, to play with out in Anaheim. It's a little different with that. And uh, now to come to a real hockey place and, and it's, you know, everything's hockey and it's, it's just been exciting. Do you like the format this year? Because it seems like the fans, everybody's been receptive to it. You know, we see you guys play the Flyers on Thursday, then you play them again on Saturday. Maybe the familiarity with some of these teams and maybe the spiciness that we'll see as this thing kind of gets along. Yeah, it's it's been a short sample size so far, but uh, I think you can see from you know there's a lot of two two games in a row, and you see uh, from the first game to the second game there's a lot of adjustments and uh, it's a little more tight checking, and I think you're going to see that more when you start playing teams, you know that third, fourth, and fifth time and all the update times, and uh, but by the end of the year, I think everyone's going to know everyone's tendencies and how everyone plays. So, um, you know, it's almost going to be you know playoff hockey, you know from now on. I think with with seeing the same teams all the time. I think we're okay with that, and I think the fans will say the same. Uh, Nick, thanks so much for the time. Enjoy your off day, and we look forward to seeing you guys back on the ice coming up tomorrow night.